folks in the room already. This is awesome. California, Portland, Oregon, Stockholm, Sweden. We got Northampton in the house. Orlando's in the house. Let me know if you can hear me okay. Send a little something in the chat and let me know that the audio is on. We got Peterborough, Ontario in the house. We got Florida in the house. Cool, we got the audio on. Welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining me for this second live stream of what I'm calling the Global Ukulele Meditation. What I'm playing right here is a little funk riff on an instrument I picked up in Mexico. It's a mini guitar. Some people call this a guitalele, but really it's a Mexican requinto. Call it a guitalele if you like. We're going to start this live stream the way we always do, welcoming everybody into the room. Thank you so much for joining. We got the Netherlands in the house. We got Scotland in the house. Montreal in the house. I was just up there a few months ago. Yeah. We got New Jersey in the house. And we got everybody in their house. How you feeling out there? Is everybody doing okay? I hope you are. I hope that you are enjoying this time as best we can. It's, of course, a very challenging time on Earth. And that's why I wanted to do this. Because so many folks are indoors, stuck inside. We wanted to uh, offer something to lift the spirits and to make this time indoors more fun. So if you're just joining this live stream, welcome. I'm going to be saying hi to folks in the chat. Jimu, New Zealand, glad you're here. Ukulele Betty from Kentucky is here. Christine Getso, I love you, sister. Oh, she's here. All right, Christine. Thank you, Laurel. Oh, my goodness. There are almost 400. Now there are 431 people in the room. My goodness. Well, if you're watching this live or you're watching this on the rebroadcast, Thank you. Please stick around for the whole thing. We're going to be hanging out here for an hour, maybe 66 minutes. We'll see how long it goes. My intention is to lead an all-levels lesson with you and to share some meditative approaches to the ukulele. So please stick around. Um, we're going to be uh, you know, connecting through the chat throughout this entire time. If you're watching on the rebroadcast, please stick around. There is a whole lot of cool stuff that I'm going to share with you. Now, I'm so pumped. I'm so excited that all these sweet folks are here. Cynthia from Maryland. Hey, Robin is here. The ukulele scramble. Marcy Villa from Salt Lake City. This is delightful. So glad that so many folks are here. Oh, we got Donald from Fredonia. I graduated from Fredonia College. Uh, we want to give a big shout out to the entire ukulele community, the global ukulele community. Give a special shout out to the Quail Creek Ukulele Club just outside of Tucson, Chris Shapiro and the whole gang tuning in. Thank you so much. Uh, many of you folks I have met in person through my travels, offering workshops, whether at concert, uh, whether at festivals or just my own private events. So really appreciate you joining in. Before we get started, I wanted to uh, just, of course, say thank you so much and Want to let you know, in the description below this video are a few links you may want to check out. One of them is a link to download the song sheets for the two songs we're going to be playing today, Bob Marley's Three Little Birds, and we're also going to be playing Keep on the Sunny Side. So make sure that you have those uh, downloaded. You may also like to, just for the rest of this time, uh, you may like to shut out whatever distractions may be there. I know you're probably indoors with your family, with your kids, with your cats, with your dogs. So uh, having zero distractions is, you know, that is uh, not, may, that may not be possible, but as best you can, try to spend this hour just together so we can get the most out of this time together. I've got some really, really fun things and some deep things uh, lined up for you today. Thank you so much. We're going to say hi to a few more people. 
Bobby Bach in Singapore. Hey, hello, Aurelia in Switzerland. All right, we got North Carolina in the house. Merci beaucoup, Claude. Thank you. Hello, thank you, Val, Sylvia. Thank you so much. So uh, we're so glad to be here. Sue, Sue from Florida is in the house. Oh my gosh, ukulele community worldwide. Now, as you know, we love this instrument not just because it's fun to play, you know, not just that it's a joy to play music and to play music with other people, but it's really the connections. Whenever I go to ukulele festivals, it's amazing just how close people can get in the span of a weekend. Total strangers really become uh, very close friends and we keep in touch. So I appreciate you keeping in touch uh, through this live chat. Wanted to let you know a quick, couple of quick things and then we're gonna start with today's lesson. David, thank you. Rowan is doing well. He is um, taking a walk with his mama outside. For those of you who don't know, I am a new father of a seven-week-old today, seven-week-old baby boy. He's the love of my life. Love him so much. And if his mama wasn't so busy taking care of him, she might pluck the bass. My wife is a fantastic bass player, Sarah. So hello, Nancy from San Diego. Oh, my goodness. Carrie, thank mm -hmm. you for being here. So thanks for all the love. Thanks for all the caring. Uh, thank you, Emily. All blessings to you in Clearwater. Thank you for those sweet gifts that you sent us to the Tampa Bay Ukulele Society. Big, big thanks. So thank you. So let's jump into today's lesson. I'm so glad you're here. If you would like others to join us, whether you are watching this live or if you're uh, watching this at the rebroadcast, check out my fancy graphics. You can share this. This is high-tech graphics, 1998 style. Uh, share them with these hashtags, ukulele zen or global ukulele meditation. Um, please share, invite folks. And as long as we're here, if you're digging this and you're getting some good, uh, good value from this time, please smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. Make sure if you subscribe to the channel to click the notification bell too. So that way you'll keep in the loop of when I put up new videos all the time here at Ukulele Zen. And last but not least, if you like what I do and you get some benefit from it and it helps your music and you feel good, you can support me on Patreon. Patreon is a service where I offer extra perks and resources starting at just two bucks a month. Sure will be helpful. Of course, tough times all over these days. Anything you can do to support anybody else is appreciated. In the link below is a link to my Patreon page where you get all kinds of cool benefits and perks, jam tracks, PDFs, yada, yada, yada. There's another link down there that I'd love for you to check out. It's uh, nokidhungry.org. Wonderful organization. I've been donating to it. It uh, feeds children who are in need, especially during this time. So thank you so much. We're all in this together. That's what this uh, COVID-19 has taught us, if nothing else. So we are in this together. Let's get into this together. Thank you so much. So now, the lesson. Are you ready? I'm ready. We're going to be taking some chat and some questions throughout this entire time. Let's first begin with a simple, simple exercise. Okay, so please sit with your feet on the floor with your ukulele at two o'clock position, right? This would be 12, this would be two. And even if you're already master of this, I encourage you to just treat it like you're a beginner all over again, all right? Enter the beginner's mind. In the beginner's mind, there are endless possibilities. And the experts, there are very few. So just be a beginner, hang out with this concept. We're gonna warm up the chords for three little birds. The first chord is your A major chord. So go ahead, strum your A major chord, and here's the difference. I want you to strum it and just listen. Go on, give it a try. Ready? Let's do it together. So rather than being dispersed and distracted, let us bring our concentration together so we can come home to the present moment. As we do this, pay attention the sensations in the body. This turns your practice into a meditation. Coming home to the present moment. Exactly. I hear you. 8R Ram, I'm a beginner too, every day. Thank you. 
All right, so let go. Let's play our, play our D major chord. When I play my D major chord in this song, it's nice to just play these three fingers because that means the change from A to D is made nice and simple, okay? So now let's treat each chord like it is a bell of mindfulness, listen to it, and I know this may seem very basic at first, but if you're an expert at this, I really encourage you just to go deeper, bring awareness to the body, bring awareness to your breathing, and let's do this together. Are you ready? We're going to strum A once, D once. Here we go. Three, four. So, Nicholas, it's the second fret, first fret, open and open. And all of these diagrams are on your page that you can download at the Google folder. There's your D major. I'm putting a link in the chat for you right now. You go download those. Excellent. Now, cool thing happens as you do this. Your mind, where it was you know, receiving notifications, so to speak, whether literally notifications on your phone or notifications, just you know, distracting thoughts. Distractions are not bad, but they do take us away from the wonders that sometimes are present in this moment. Music is a powerful anchor because it is only happening in the present moment. Let's make friends with the E7 chord, and then we're going to be pretty much ready to play the song. Yes, Mary, it's hypnotic. Allow yourself to return home to the present moment. And back to A. So when I say meditation, remember, it's depth, not seriousness. Okay, go deep into this moment. Okay, a wonderful practice is to just bring attention to your breathing and the corners of your mouth. Breathing and smiling is an ancient practice. Breathe and smile. Now, you may say to yourself, especially these days, Stu, I don't have much to smile about. I lost my job. I did too. I lost all my gigs this year so far. It's amazing, though, what happens when we put an intention out there to smile. Sometimes the mind, very often the mind will follow the body. Experiment with this on your own, and please know when I say meditation, I'm not saying there's one way. There is only one way, and it's your way. So modify this, come home to the present moment. Excellent. Now we're ready for the strum. Beginners, this is a great strum and one that will take you very far. It goes like this. We're going to strum four beats, and we're going to make beats two and four louder. Let's do this on an A chord. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Love you too, Colin. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Do it one more time and then we'll stop. Two, three, four. One. Great. Very often, and I've been teaching thousands of people around the world and before ukulele guitar, it's very easy to overdo it. You know, it's natural. We're, we're bringing effort to something. We want to do it, right? But try to hang back with the effort and brush beats one and three as lightly as you would brush a baby's face. Like I said earlier, there's a seven-month-old baby boy of mine downstairs. Excuse me, seven-week-old baby boy downstairs. And I literally brushed the ukulele as lightly as I brush his face. Just yesterday, I brushed his face, and then I brushed the ukulele. That's all you're doing. It's almost a joke how little you have to do. You just reach out, play the air, and that's it. Then on beats two and four, just whip it a little more. A good, way, a good practice is to pretend that your fingers are dipped in water and you're whipping the water off the end of the finger. Now, I know you may have already done this for years, but there's always a good, it's always a good idea to go deep into the fundamentals. And the fundamental thing here we're practicing is dynamics. Say it with me. Come on dynamics. Yeah. I wish I could say it in French, merci, which I could say it in Dutch and German and all the folks around the world in, in Malaysian. But dynamics are what make your music so much more musical. So check it out. Bring attention. Remember baby's face, whip in the water off the fingertips and just hang with this. Are you ready? Let's play through a little bit of Three Little Birds. We're going to play through the chorus. If you have the song sheet, please take a look at it and let us play. One, two, one, two, three. 
Don't worry about a thing. Change the D. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. You can sing it down. Don't worry about a thing. No, no, no. D. Every little thing. Oh, gonna be all right. Keep going. First, rise up this morning. E7, smile with the rising sun. Three little birds perch on my doorstep. A singing sweet song. Melodies are pure and true. D, this is my message to you. Now we're going to funk up the strum in a moment, but go through one more chorus. Don't worry. Come on now. About a thing. Do your thing. Let's do it. D, because every little thing is going to be all right. Don't you worry about a thing. No, no, no. Cause every little thing gonna be alright. One more D. Are you ready? Change the D with me. Uh, Cause a heavy little thing is gonna be alright. One last time. Cause every little thing. Gonna be alright. Alright, so that was fun for me. I hope you had fun. That was level one, a little bit of a simple, simplified strum. Let's add to it now and learn a little bit about strumming. Let's first take a few questions. Thank you, Judy. Thank you so much. And I appreciate all the folks being here and learning together and just being together. Did you know that Bob Marley wrote this very, very positive song just a few, maybe, I think it was just a few weeks after he almost was assassinated. You can look up the whole story by watching the documentary Marley. There's a great documentary called Marley. I recommend you watch it. If you're a fan of Bob's music, like I am, you'll love it. Even if you just love documentary film, it's a great film. He almost uh, died. He was almost, uh, he was shot. And uh, afterwards, he went to London, recorded the Exodus album, and wrote this song. So he took a very dark period of his life and wrote some very, very positive music out of it. Now, let's get into a little more of the strum. Thank you so much. Okay, so Diane, so the way I play the D major chord, there are a lot of different ways to play D, and this is a good thing to talk about. D can be played with three fingers, like this. D can be played with three fingers, like this. It can be played with one finger. That's hinging the finger. Okay. And it can be played with a combination of a hinge of a finger and another finger, like this. Right, so there's always a lot of different ways to finger a chord. And these are things that I'm going to be uh, covering in upcoming lessons. And uh, I want to let you all know that I'm launching some online courses in the future. So sign up for the mailing list. There's a link below to my website, stewfuchs.com. And I will be letting you know. Please sign up for the mailing list. And I'll keep you in the loop of when I'm doing it. But let's get back into the strumming. Now. The Chuck Strum, Winfield. Let's get into that in just a moment. When you're strumming this, amazing things can start to happen. I know this strum seems so simple. It is. One, two, three, four, one, two. But what happens is uh, something very cool. When you are rooted in a simple rhythm and you're playing it with groove, that dynamic of one, two, three, four, and you're playing it musically, very often, your own rhythmic intuition will fill in and add extra embellishments to it quite intuitively. 
I'm going to give you a couple of bits of vocabulary that will help you to, um, to add some extra things, okay? And one of them is actually pretty simple, but it's worth checking out. By the way, remember, Mark Twain said, any fool can make something complex. It takes a real genius to do something simple. So let's do something simple. We're going to play one. And then on beats two, remember we played that harder. We're going to go down and up. And then three, simple, down, up. Let's just hang with that for a moment. And you get something a little closer to reggae strumming, OK? One, two, three, four, and one. I'm going to bring in the chord now. Join in with me. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. When I go to D, I keep my middle finger in place. So that is a strum. I know it doesn't seem like much. And if you wrote it on paper, it's not like you would need to go to college for years to study it. But it's powerful what you can do with this. Third strum that I'd like to show you is a strum that is maybe the most popular strum around the world. The old good old down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. <laughs> Excellent, everyone. So Saad, I think, I hope I'm pronouncing your name, Saad bin Naim asked, what is an island strum? This strum is sometimes nicknamed the island strum because it's used a lot uh, in Hawaiian music and uh, music of the islands, right? It's a strum, though, that you can play all kinds of styles with. Down, down, up, up, down. Now we're going to do this again. And here is the, um, how should we say, the extra special sauce. Remember, beats two and four. All right, this whole show <laughs> is sponsored by beats two and four. I can see the tagline, two and four, making hominids funky since 50,000 BC. But beats two and four are a backbeat. One, two, two, four. When you play the backbeat, to make your strumming sound like there's a drummer. Beats two and four are where the snare drum would be. All right. This is a concept that's not too hard to grasp. The tricky thing is in the practice. So how do we practice things? And how do we bring a meditative approach to practicing? Let's do this right now. Now remember, meditation, depth, not seriousness. The way I would recommend you practice this is with one of many methods is say it and then play it. So check it out. Let's do this. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. See how I'm making some of it louder. Those are the strong beats. So the game is I'm going to say it and then I'm going to play it and I'm going to listen very carefully for the ukulele to say it back to me, just like I said it. So just follow along. Here we go. I'm going to say it once. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. I listen, and then I do it on my ukulele. All right. Now, what makes this process powerful? is the deep listening, is the space that you bring to your practice. If you've hung out with my videos on my channel, and by the way, please, if you dig this so far, click the like button and subscribe to the channel because my videos all emphasize a more spacious way of practicing. If you repeat something again and again and again with ever, without ever giving it space, it's very difficult to make real progress. Don't get me wrong, you may get lucky, 
And so, and it does work for some people to drill things over and over again. But real practice is like building a castle where you're laying one brick at a time and carefully. The thing is, is that you do have to go slower at first, but you end up saving time. Trust me, as someone who's been teaching themselves how to play all kinds of stuff all my life, the slower you go, the quicker you get there. So big thank you, Emily. Yes, thank you, Emily. You can watch this again later as a rebroadcast. Thank you. So let's put this into practice. Practice is repeating things carefully with love. That's my definition of practice. Repetition, mindfully paying attention, you know, and with kindness. So check it out. If you get nothing else out of this, this is a deep practice that you can apply to everything. Check it out. Get ready on my chord. So go ahead, get your A major chord ready. And I'm going to say it. I'm going to listen. And then I'm going to play it. The space that I put in is key. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. And the way I say it is the way I'm going to play it. Are you ready? Let's play it. One, two, three, four. One. Thank you for joining me. I got to tell you, you know, without you in the room, it's hard for me to know how it's going. So you can tell me in the chat or just answer me right now. How long were you able to sustain your concentration on those accents? You know, concentration is a muscle that gets strong. And when I say concentrate, it's not a negative thing. It's not some uh, person yelling at you saying, concentrate, you better concentrate. No. It's just an invitation to come back to the moment. What's happening here? Let's do this again and see how long can you sustain a relaxed concentration on the present moment. And in a moment, uh, we're going to play through the whole song again, and we're going to have a good time just strumming it. We're going to sing it and strum it, and then I'm going to teach you this. Boo, 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 boo. Right? The riff that's all tabbed out for you on the song sheet. Are you ready? Let's practice this one more time. See how long you can sustain that concentration. And then we're going to play the whole tune. Is everybody feeling good? All right. Thank you, Susan. Carl, thank you. Victoria, BC. I love British Columbia. I'm so bummed I can't come this year. I was going to come to the Kamloops Festival. And, uh, yep, thank you so much. All right, I think we're all ready. Let's do this together. The slower you go, the quicker you get there. It really only takes another few seconds to put some space in your practice. What it will give your practice is so much deep. And that depth will make you feel relaxed. So even if the journey's a little longer, if you're enjoying yourself, hey, that's a good thing. Who wants a long, pleasurable journey to end anyway? Yeah. Let it be pleasurable. Are you ready? Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up. See how long you can keep this going. And let's just play the whole song, okay? I think we're ready. So get ready with your song sheets. One, two, one, two, three. Don't worry. Rise up this morning. 
to believe it but it's gonna be alright and that's applying the island strum when you get the flow of this friends it's a physical motion you really feel that you're whipping the air One, two, three. see my arm and my wrist very floppy, very loose. It took me a long time to learn how to do this stuff. I've been playing music since I was, when I was a little boy. So I spent a lot of time hanging out with it. So every time you sit down to play, celebrate. Okay, you're making more progress. Drop by drop, the bucket gets filled. Okay, so repeat things in a mindful way. There's a whole lot that I look forward to sharing in future videos and also in my online course. Please uh, sign up for my mailing list, stewfuchs.com. There are links in the description below where you can do that. And if you haven't already, you can donate some money to No Kid Hungry, no kid hungry org. Wonderful organization that helps families struggling with food, especially during this very challenging time. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Thank you, Mia. Let's check in with everybody. Tortoise Mango, thank you for this jam. Thank you. Check out Marley. Documentary named Marley. Wonderful story about the life of Bob Marley. So let's, um, let's uh, just spend another moment practicing this motion. And then... I would like to lead with you, lead you in just a three minute meditation. Okay. It's so simple. And I promise you that it'll make you feel really peaceful. You will really enjoy it. Okay. But first, let's practice the strum. I want to share with you a powerful practice tip that really changed my life. It really changed my music life. You know, it's called the X chord. And I'm going to be teaching this in my online course. Sign up, stewfuchs.com, the mailing list. I'll be letting you know when I'm launching them soon. I have a whole lot of cool topics to share with you. The X chord means you're muffling the strings. So loose. The hand is so loose. This has a couple of... Here you go, Evelyn. Breathe and smile. Here's another favorite one of mine. Present moment, wonderful moment. This is calligraphy by the Buddhist teacher Thich Nhat Hanh, who was nominated by Martin Luther King Jr. for a Nobel Peace Prize in 1966. Wonderful teacher. He's still alive, even though he suffered a stroke some years ago. Thich Nhat Hanh. So Ty has got a picture of him looking at me right now. Muffle the strings has amazing effects. Are you ready for this? 
this is going to really ramp up your strumming. Check it out. Two amazing side effects of the X chord. Side effect of benefit number one. Benefit number one, okay? Your hand is relaxed. If I took my hand, my ukulele way, my hand is just so floppy. That's how loose it is. Go ahead. How loose can you make it? Sometimes when I teach the X chord, it's like this. It's still, you know, making some sound. So really muffle. Okay. It puts you in touch with what would it be like to have a loose hand. When I play stuff like that, my hand feels so floppy and loose. I'm paying attention more to the softness of my hand, to the parts of time when I'm, I should say that differently. I pay attention to the moments when I am not doing anything. And that's the quote, Zen of it. Zen is just a word that, you know, can't really be defined, I suppose. For me, it means economy of motion, economy of effort, focus, but a relaxed focus, right? Check it out. This is your maybe your first step into this. Maybe the most common question I get from ukulele students is just how do I make my hand feel relaxed? You know, I'm gripping my cords like oh, so tight. Check it out. Just do this a lot and focus on the thumb. Okay. Now that we have talked about the X chord, keep that like that. Very soft and floppy. Take your strumming hand, and we're going to practice that down, down, up, up, down strum with attention now, because we're not trying to make a chord, with attention to the sound that it's making, just with a muffled sound. We're going to be listening for, is my rhythm clear and accurate? Am I able to bring those accents out, those contrasts of soft and loud sounds? And am I able to focus on the physical gesture, the dance of it. This is a lot to take in it, really. So that's why we go slow, to get the most out of it. Are you feeling good out there? I appreciate you spending some time with me. Let me demonstrate it. Instead of jumping in, just watch. You can absorb so much. Just watch for 10 seconds at most. Just watch and then try. Are you ready? Here I go. One, two, three. You could hear it was clear, right? You could hear the do jack go, the jack one, two, three, four. Are you ready to try? Come on now. Come on, world. Let's do it. One, two, one, two, let's do it. We're going to do that one more time, and we're going to change it a little bit. Some of you I know are already doing this. This is it. Down, down, up, up, down. You can add one extra up in there. The thing I'm paying attention to is my wrist. It's like I'm opening up a door. Unless, of course, you have those wonderful German door handles that open like that. I saw those all over Europe. They're awesome. The door's open. But for us in North America, we got these door handles that go, right? And that's kind of what is happening with the wrist. Keep it really floppy. You may also like to pretend that your hand is like a puppet. So loose and floppy. And if you've ever played with puppets like marionettes, you know that there are pins in all the joints, in the elbows, and the hand. So keep it nice and loose. Loose. All right. If you want to go deeper into this, listen and breathe. Just, just let it happen and breathe. Okay, you ready? Let's do it. One, two, one, two. Keep it loose. Down. Thank you, Monica. 
Hey, Mario. Nice, Rosemary. Glad you got it. Yes, Camille. This is the same strum used for somewhere over the rainbow. Sing along. Way up high. Go on, singing strong. There. Ah. Austria. I miss it. Amazing land. Amazing people. I had the pleasure of visiting Salzburg and Vienna with some touring I was doing. Come on. Are you ready? Let's sing it again. Let's do a little game. You can stop if your hand getting tired. But let's see about just play and sing the X with the X chords. Sing the song. This is a, not just a, this is this is not just a game. This is a powerful practice. You're focusing on, can I strum and sing at the same time? Are you ready? One, two, yes, I have. One, two, one, two, three. So, way over the rainbow, way up high. You sound good. There's a land that I've dreamed of once in my lullaby. One, two, three, four, so way over the rainbow. Da, da, da. Here we go, last time. And we end. Very nice, everyone. So let us just wrap up this section by talking about just just quick recap of what we did. And no, Parker, it's not not so much a distraction. What we're doing is we're reinforcing. Uh, just to strum and uh, offering um, a little bit of a, uh, a, just a way of practicing it in a different way. You can learn how to sing and strum a lot easier if we're not working with the chords, if we're just working on the coordination of the right hand and singing, okay? There are a lot of different ways to do that, but this is a good one. Just to keep a strum and sing, Ah, 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 ah. See if your voice can work at the same time as you are strumming. And of course it can. It's just a matter of training and repeating things. Practice is repetition with love. In my school, that's what I like to teach. Okay, Repetition with kindness, repetition with love. So thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate you hanging. Let's take just a wee bit of break and then I'm going to I'm going to play a song for you. Would that be all right? I did say I would give a little mini concert. We're still going to jam out another song together. Want to let you know that um I have CDs available for my award-winning Gypsy Jazz bands. My own two CDs and I created a discount code. It's in the description below. 25, uh, excuse me, 20% off, 20% off. Just put the code in at checkout. I would sure appreciate that and um, hope you enjoyed the music. I was nominated for a Grammy Award when when I, I wasn't, but my guitar playing was part of this Grammy winning uh, recording, Grammy nominated recording by Sanatam Carr. We toured the world. We used to play for almost 3,000 people at a time. One time we had about 3,500 people uh, in Barcelona chanting, meditating. And this year, I sure hope that my annual Omega Ukulele Zen retreat with my wife, Sarah, and our little baby, Rowan, will be there. Sure hope this can happen. It all depends on what is going on with the COVID-19 virus. 
certainly hope that you and your family are doing well and keeping safe. And I wanted to play a song, another song by Bob Marley, but I'm going to do it um, just with the ukulele. This is something I just worked out a few days ago. And it's a chord melody version of one of my favorite songs by him, No Woman, No Cry. One of the courses I plan to offer are going to be some detailed instructions on um, chord soloing, but it wouldn't just be just the tab and you just, you know, have at it. I would guide you through it piece by piece. So this is one of the solos that I'll be teaching, as well as easier solos. I hope you enjoy this. I hope that you and your family are well. So thank you. Uh, to answer your question, uh, I was playing guitar with that band, Christoph. Yeah. And we, uh, it was singing meditation. We would sing mantras and uh, we would tour all over North and South America and Europe. The artist's name is Sanatam Kar. This was a Grammy nominated recording. It was a real honor to tour with her for over three years, touring the world. All right, let's stay with what we're doing. I'm going to play some Bob Marley for you now.
So thanks for listening. I was largely off the cuff, haven't really worked it out, but I thought that song might be appropriate for these times. Don't shed no tears. Everything's going to be all right. We have to come together, do what we can individually and collectively to get through this crisis. Thank you so much for joining. Hope you enjoyed that. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Cool. Thank you, Cynthia. Diane, the name of the ukulele maker is Brian Griffin. You can look up Griffin ukuleles. The reason why this ukulele is so special and why the sound hole is over here is that it's made with a different bracing system, the Kasha bracing system. It's very different. Um, so the bracing system allows for more reverberation on the wood. Brian Griffin is a great luthier. He's a great dude. Give him a look him up. Griffin ukuleles. Dot com. You can just look them up and you can follow along. If you choose to get one, you can follow along with the construction. He has a blog where you can follow along with your ukulele being made. So Griffin ukuleles. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, the riff, of course. Let's get our ukuleles out. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being here. Are you ready to learn the riff? Put your middle finger, actually your first finger, right there on the fifth fret of the second string, play that one note. Then place your ring finger right here on the seventh fret, play that one note. Now go back there. So just play those two notes. Now I'm moving slowly because I want you to learn and I'm moving slowly so you can have a more meditative experience with this. When I say meditative, I mean we're listening to the moment. Each note is like a bell. A bell of mindfulness reminding us to come home to the moment. Deep listening to what is actually happening in the moment. Those are the first two notes. First two notes. Great. After we play those two notes, we move up here to the seventh fret, the ring finger, seventh fret of the first string. And now the next note is gonna be down here at the fourth fret. Now notice my first finger was on the fifth fret. Then when I move across here, it just stretches out a little bit. My hand is very, very soft. And then go back to those first two notes. And that's the whole riff. Before we put it into context, let's just make friends with the gesture and the notes, seeing if you can play this with a soft touch. Are you ready? And then take your hand off. Instead of doing it five times in a row, do it once, take your hand away, and then do it a second time. Here we go. You've just done it twice. This time, go deeper. Use your eyes. I know you're looking at me and you might be looking at the tablature. Use your eyes now to look at what you're doing so you create a feedback loop. The brain sending something to the body, a command to the body, and the brain receiving feedback through the eyes and the sense of touch. When you create that feedback loop, you remember things on a much deeper level. So look at it, two, three, four. I think you're starting to get it. I think you're starting to get it. Excellent. Now, why am I telling you to take your hand away? So you can have the experience of setting up each 
shot like it's a dart, a game of darts. You're trying to bullseye each one, lining up what you're trying to practice carefully, mindfully. It also helps to concentrate. So when we repeat things mindfully, just doing three to five careful repetitions, we end up making more progress than if we just did it 10 times in a row. Do it carefully once, twice, three, maybe five times, resting in between. Your hand gets a break, your concentration is strengthened, and you're doing it correctly. If you're enjoying this, I hope you'll please smash the like button and subscribe to this channel, Ukulele Zen. I think we are ready now to put this in context. The rhythm is played as 16th notes, and it begins on beat two. So one E and two E and ah, da, da, da. Da 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 I'll talk about that in a moment, Monica. Da 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 boom. The combination, the coordination of left and right hand is a tricky thing. As ukulele players, we tend to, you know, be playing chords. Awesome, all right? When we start to get into picking single notes, it's a much more uh, fine-tuned experience, we have to now narrow our focus on just one string. I'm using my finger, my thumb. You could use your pointer finger. You could even use a guitar pick if you like. I like the thumb because the thumb lets my hand hold the ukulele like this. I get a nice full sound by resting the thumb on the next string. You see that, Monica? You see that, everybody? And then the coordination. Well, recently I put out a video on Legato, Beethoven's uh, Ninth Symphony, the theme from the Ninth Symphony, and we talked about how the left hand guides the right hand. So the fretting hand guides the right hand. Check it out. Right there, that finger landing told my finger when to play. So that's the answer to your question in a nutshell. But watch that video, Legato. You can look it up on my channel, Beethoven's Melody. Yep, so it's a different way of looking at it. Your left hand is doing the coordination. Now, we just got about maybe 10 minutes left. Let's now put this into co combination of the strum and the riff. You don't have to do this. Maybe you just want to strum. Maybe in your ukulele circles, you can get a whole bunch of people strumming and show other folks the riff, and you can make a little orchestra. But here's how it lines up. It's on beat two. Two E and da 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 mm, boom. One E and two E. One E and two. Two more times. Come on. Oh, bo bo bo. Bo 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 bo. Last time. Mm, 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 mm. Awesome. You're great. Thank you for joining in. On the tablature, and I hope you downloaded it. I'm putting a link in the chat right now. Download it, please. Um, you will notice there are two ways to finger this, this riff. You can do what we just did right there, or you can use the open string. It's a whole lot of ground to cover. See, I have to move all the way up. It's nice to stay in one position. That's why I put those two variations. Now, how do you combine this with the strum? You want to check it out? You want to learn this? Let me show you. So we would be strummed down. One, two, da, 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 da. Let go of the chord. Now, you may not like to do that. You may just want to hang out with the riff and let your friends strum along. 
Okay. This song is in the original key. So if you go look up Bob Marley's Three Little Birds, you'll be able to play along with the recording because it's in the key of A. All right. So I hope this helps. You want to go through the riff one more time? Let's do it. Okay. Let's practice it. And then we'll move on. Da 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 na na. Just say it. Da 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 na. Don't hear you. Da 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 da. That's it. Da 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 da. Now play it. Da da Whenever practicing, whether you're practicing music or if you're practicing meditation, the art of returning is key. How do we return to the present moment when we have lost connection to it? The way I like to look at this, and this is something that came to me intuitively, maybe you relate to this. Instead of thinking to yourself or saying to yourself, uh, I forgot. You say, oh, I remembered. Because as soon as you realize that you have lo lost contact with the present moment, the moment you realize that you've lost contact with what you mean to do, if we can pause and say, oh, I'm remembering, instead of doing that, we have a much more positive experience. And the correct motion will be much more available to us. So check it out as I play this. Let's say I'm practicing this and I make a mistake. I stop, I smile, and I check and I do it again. This time a little slower. I stop, realizing that rather than, uh, I forgot, it's, uh, I'm remembering. Okay, do you see what I'm, what I'm talking about here? Listen to each note like it is a singing bowl. And you will have a very, very different experience with your music making. We're not done yet but I'd just like to share with you a very, very simple listening meditation. So rest your arms. You can hold your ukulele like this, just so it's quiet. Put your feet on the floor and just listen. As you're listening, you may like to close your eyes. You may like to follow your breath as it is flowing through your body naturally. Your body knows exactly how much oxygen you need. So just watch it and listen. We're going to listen to three bells. And all we're going to do is listen and breathe. Okay. This is how you can listen to your music even deeper by practicing deep listening. So let's begin. Here we go. Listen to the bell as the sound decays. Stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. And another.
staying with your breath. We are not stilling the mind. We are bringing our attention to what is present. One more, and then we're going to do this with our ukuleles, okay? One more. So listen, breathe, smile. Listening to a bell takes all of 30 seconds, maybe one minute. But that moment of deep listening, of returning to the moment, can really change your life. When we listen to the ukulele, it's an invitation to come home. Bring the mind and the body together in the present moment through listening. This not only has a peaceful effect, but it can make your learning journey so much more clearer and more effective. So check it out. I'm gonna now apply this to learning this riff. I'm not gonna try to play it just yet. I'm first just going to listen to each note as if it was a bell. Steve, I live very close to Brattleboro. Let's listen. As you're listening, you're just paying attention to all the sensations in your hand. You may notice, ooh, I could be more relaxed back here. And so you'll make the adjustment. So there, that could be one repetition of a meditative way of practicing this riff. It does seem to take longer. It seems like you're going slower and the mind may protest, but I promise you that if you practice in this way, you're actually saving time. You really are because you're learning it correctly. Let's do this one more time. Every note doing more than just practicing. You're just being at home. Next thing you know, it's in your fingers. You might say, wow, hey, it's more in, it's, it, it's in my fingers. Quicker than if you just went, you know, too fast, okay? So slowing down is a great gift to yourself. It really is. The details of the technique become clearer and clearer the more and more you play. So glad that you're joining. I know this may not be everybody's cup of tea, and this is a non-traditional way of approaching music, but in my experience, the slower you go, the slower you go, the quicker you get there. Really appreciate you being here. The global ukulele meditation is a way of just stopping, returning, reconnecting with the moment. When you do this, you could play five random notes on your instrument, play one chord, listen to it deeply. You feel refreshed. But don't take my word for it. Try it. See how it feels. If you're enjoying what you're seeing, please share this video. You can... Uh, Hashtag ukulele zen, hashtag global ukulele meditation. Sign up for my mailing list at stewfuchs.com. I so appreciate it. I'm going to play a little bit of music for you. Remember, depth, not seriousness. This is a piece of music that I love to play. It's by the ukulele master, Roy Smek. This will end our live broadcast. So I'll take a few questions, and then I'm going to play this final piece of music for you.
Big love out to everybody in the ukulele community. Thank you, Karen. Thank you for subscribing. Appreciate that. Struggling artist. Yes. Go slow. Thank you, Martha. Yeah, going slow. It's really, it's the master key. So I'm going to play a little music by the great ukulele master, Roy Smeck, in a moment. Refresh me, DJ King. Yeah, yeah, you can refresh yourself just by breathing deeply, coming home to the present moment. That's where you are anyway. So we come home. Remember, please remember, this is not a process of, uh, I forgot the present moment again. Uh, it's no, it's, I remember. Oh my God, I remembered. Okay, okay. And you tend to smile and tighten and lighten up. It's a wonderful way of meditating. Sunny side, yes, we're going to have to get to sunny side. A future lesson, as you can see, going slow does run out the clock. Really appreciate y'all being here. I'm going to play another tune for you and we'll see uh, what happens. Are you ready? Royce Mex, the Magic Ukulele Waltz. There is a promo code if you're interested in picking up the CD. This was recorded with my wife, Sarah, the Magic Ukulele Waltz. Really appreciate your support. I wish that I could come and visit you all in person. I am not able to tour this year because of the COVID-19. I hope that you and your family are well. Hope that you're staying safe, staying indoors, and having a good time at home as best that you can. I know it's a challenging time, but thank you for doing the right thing, staying home, not spreading this virus. Much love. Here I go. We're going to play the magic ukulele waltz. One, two, three, one, two, three. Here we go.
Thank you very much, everybody. Appreciate you being here. Stay safe. I teach all these things, well, not all of them, but I teach some of these things in a playlist called Ukulele Circus Tricks. It's at my YouTube channel, Ukulele Zen, so please subscribe to the channel. You can support on Patreon and get a whole bunch of cool perks. Every month I make a jam track that you can play along with. I just made one for Folsom Prison Blues. There's extra content up there for patrons at different levels, but if you're interested in supporting, it's all there, links in the description. I will put something in the chat right now. Really appreciate you being here. And uh, for those of you who downloaded the sheet and really want to play it, of course I want to play it too. Let's end with one last song. The Carter family's Keep on the Sunny Side. All right, there shall be no teaching with this. We're just going to play. So D major is our first chord. G major is our second chord. A major is our third chord. And we can also add the A7 and the D7. So make sure that you have the Carter family song sheet out in front of you. And let's play this together. Thank you so very much. If you're interested in supporting and subscribing to this channel, I just put some links in the chat. Appreciate you being here. Most of all, I hope that you and your family are doing well. Let's start with our D major chord, and let's play Keep on the Sunny Side. Are you ready? Do you have the song sheet in front of you? We're going to start with verse one, the D major chord. Here we go. One, two, three. There's a dark and a troubled side of life. There's a bright and a sunny side too. Though we meet with the darkness and strife, the sunny side we also may view. Of course, keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side alive. It will help us every day. It will brighten all the way. If we keep on the sunny side alive. Here comes verse two. One, two, three. Oh, the storm and its fury broke today. Crushing hopes that we cherish so dear. Shout and storms will in time pass away. The sun again will shine so bright and clear. Chorus. So keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side alive. It will help us every day. It will brighten all the way. We keep on the sunny side of life. Now for this last third verse, I did change the words a little bit, applying the folk process, Pete Seeger's folk process. You can change the words to any song you like, of course. And that's what I did. Let's sing. One, two, let us greet with a song of hope each day. Though the moment be cloudy or fair, let us trust in deep wisdom always. 
to keep us on the path of loving care. One more chorus, keep on sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side of life. It will help us every day. It will brighten all the way. If we keep on the sunny side of life. Last time, keep on the sunny side. Always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side of life. Oh, it will help us every day. It will be right all the way. If we keep on the sunny side of life. Sing it with me now. If we keep on the sunny side of life. If we keep on the sunny side of life, oh, keep on the sunny side of life. If we keep on the sunny side of life. Thank you for being here. For those of you who just joined, no worries. You can watch this as a replay at this very same link. Appreciate you being here. Please subscribe to the channel Ukulele Zen. Sign my mailing list at stufuchs.com so you can keep in the loop of when I put up my very clearly laid out courses on things like strumming, chucking, finger style, chord solos, and how to bring a greater sense of wonder and peace into your music making. I really appreciate you being here. I hope that you and your family are staying well and safe during this very difficult time. I have lots of videos to keep you entertained and keep you learning your ukulele at my channel, Ukulele Zen. Go click the link to my channel and you'll see there's a whole lot of good stuff there and you can support on Patreon as well. And I sure appreciate the growing Patreon family there and the growing Ukulele Zen tribe. From the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate you taking the time to be with me live. And for all my friends in Australia, good morning. <laughs> and to all the folks in uh, the European countries, good night. Stay safe. To my friends here in North America, hello, good day. Have a good rest of your day. Look forward to seeing you sometime soon. Wishing you and your family all blessings. You can watch this anytime. Share it online at these hashtags. Use these hashtags. Share it with your friends. Really appreciate you being here. Keep going slow. Keep breathing deeply. Keep enjoying the day. I'm sure you will. Wishing you all the best. Thank you. Much love.